Yo, you tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. Broadcasting live from downtown Las Vegas, you're tuned in to Gorilla Cross Radio. What's up? It's Wednesday. When all the Wednesday, it's a Wednesday evening. It's a, it's it's a Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Wednesday yeah. night. <laughs> Welcome to Girl Chat Sports. After dark. After dark. <laughs> I know. I like this. New kind time. Of risque. New, yeah, yeah. Kind of risque. Yeah, it is. And, and if you're tuning in right now, that means you survived Facebook and Instagram and Twitter oh going man. down. Oh man, tell me about it. That was bad. <laughs> that was major. We were trying to promote our show, which is almost impossible right. without social media. Right. And, but we're here, and hopefully you're here, and if not, we'll be tuning you in soon. Yeah. Episode 139, though. 139? 139. And it's been a busy week for us, Yes, too. you celebrated your birthday. <laughs> Big ups to Mel. Shout out to Mel, you guys. Her birthday was the absolute best. It was a good birthday. We made it a three-day weekend of right, lots and, of events. And for being, I didn't really, I didn't go out at night. Right. But I was tired as all heck. Like, literally, all day Saturday. All day Sunday. Welcome to Quattro Uno. Quattro Uno. Quattro Uno. The, the Dirk Nowinski year. Yeah, the Dirk Nowinski year. <laughs> but you still brought it like a rock star. I'm not mad at you. I mean, I was trying to do what I could do. You yeah. know what I mean? Nothing but nothing but to do it. You got to live. Yeah. So we're here. Yes, we uh, are. We've got a couple guests in the studio that we'll get to in one second. Yes, very excited about these guests. I'm, really I'm super excited. excited. Like, I... I hope we can make it to an hour. Well, as we and promoted and as we have on, as you can see, I don't know if we can stand up or even show. We got these. Shout out to Harry Ruiz. Yeah, shout out Harry, man. Shout out Came to the lights. Clutch. Shout out Came to the lights. Came Clutch. We got Zappos, some of these. Shout out to them. Dope, dope jerseys. Yes. You go up, I go down. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much to say about that, but I'm not. <laughs> Ah, I'm really good. scared about this after dark, the dark show that you guys are doing. Well, you brought it out of us. We were supposed to have daytime hours, and then we moved to nighttime, and you just know what the I'm night I'm trying you. to say. Yeah. So, we're excited about our guests tonight. Yeah, we'll get uh, into the jerseys yes, and the meaning behind absolutely, them. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but first, let's talk a little about Vegas sports. There's a lot. Here's the deal. I have a friend that was going to, uh, some friends that are coming in for the mm-hmm. weekend, right? Mm-hmm. And hotel rooms are crazy expensive. And I thought, okay, 4th of July weekend, like, maybe I get that. But I forgot it's also Summer League this weekend. Yes. So, everybody in Summer League as well as all the players, coaches, personnel, fans, groupies, and never mind, um, are all in town. <laughs> and it's also fight night on Saturday. Oh my God, UFC is popping this weekend. John Jones. John Jones. I remember seeing that Jones Cromier fight. That was one. Shout out to Markel at the time. Woo, We're man. looking out for a girl. Yeah. And uh, you got Holly Holcomb. And you got Amanda Nunes, who is definitely a pit bull out there. She's vicious. It's going to be big time. It's going to be good, though. And people are questioning Holly Holm on if she can even manage, if she can handle this, if she's able to do it. And she's kind of coming out the gate I feel like, like she can. I mean, anything's possible, right? Mm-hmm. Anything's possible. So our aces, they're amazing. Yeah, we're third right now. We're third in the NWA. Yes, we're eight and, what is it, eight and five? Eight and five. Eight and five. So Stay here's alive. the disappointing part. We did win last week on Tuesday, right. and then we had lost in L.A. to the Sparks on Thursday, which was very disappointing. It was. Uh, but we came back on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Woo, what a game. It was good. We beat the Indiana Favor for Pride Night. Yep. You Shout went to that. To, How I was did. that? I did. It was great. I mean, it was beautiful. Like, all the um, the arena was decked out in rainbows. Yeah. And everybody was super supportive. They gave out these dope fanny packs. But by the way, if anybody has a fanny pack and is not using it, yeah, because it was for I the won. first 1,500 fans, right? That and they fanny were nice. pack was really nice. They were nice. And shout out to... Uh, and that was, was a good fanny pack. I believe it was Derrica Hamby that was my... Mo- oh, no. Uh, Jinsu Park. Mm-hmm. She was modeling it when I did the fashion Got segment you. of... I think Asia had one on, too. Asia had one on, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was cool. They had a really good game. This is also Asia Wilson's career high of 39 points on Saturday. Right. Um, also, uh, Liz had scored 12 points in yeah. overtime, which is a new, I think, WNBA record for points scored yeah. in overtime by one person. Yeah. So that's amazing. She's going to be DJing, too, coming up for the for WNBA Snoop. All-Star break with Snoop and Izzy. I'm not, Iggy. Iggy. Iggy Azalea. Azalea. I don't yeah. know why how she got teamed up in that. I don't know how they decided on her. 
I don't but know people either. are excited about it because I read in the chat, like, people were excited, like, Icky, oh, my God. Like, I saw it on Twitter. Like, people are wanting to see her. Maybe this is her comeback, you know, performance. I, get, I don't know. I mean, maybe we shouldn't call it a comeback, but I'm calling it a comeback. I ain't heard from her in who knows long. Well, you know, it's been a minute, right? It has. Yeah. So the Aces have a game coming up this Friday uh, against the Washington Mystics. Game is, what, at 730? It's also a salute, you said, or a battle salute to, to, service. to service. So it's yeah. like all military, awesome. uh, law enforcement, anybody like that. Um, they're basically asking that you can donate a ticket for them or just invite them to come. Uh, but it should be a good look on Friday because yeah. a lot of people like myself aren't working on Friday. Like I literally think nobody Lucky was girl. in my o- nobody was in my office today. Barely. Tomorrow's a holiday, so everybody's off. And then Friday, I think everybody is taking off. But you so. have basically a four-day weekend, and we have a call already. And we haven't even get, got started with our After Dark show. Okay. Kala Kala. Hello. Kala Hala. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is uh, Derek. Hey, Derek. Could you turn down? Tommy? <laughs> okay. Tony? We don't have Tommy. Well, yeah, Tommy and sure. Sure, we, we hadn't introduced him yet, but we'll go ahead. Hey, go right for on. it. We okay. love it. Just do us a favor, Derek. If uh, you could turn down your TV or your radio or whoever you're watching the show. There is literally nothing on. Okay. Oh, perfect. okay, cool. I think it's just our music in our head. Go for it, Derek. I think it's on your end. Go for it, Derek. Uh, yeah, I was looking to see uh, which, which supporter group Tommy Olsen likes more and why is it the electric company? <laughs> oh wow we're Put feeding spot, answers right? huh just feeding in the answer wow. oh man oh wow look at that already you said Tommy, me as my grandmother used to say i don't play favorites i don't play favorites that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> oh man i want to i really want to answer but i can't i want to answer but i can't but i appreciate you con hey all i know is the electric company i assume is the one calling here <laughs> <laughs> maybe I, you can just do I, 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 yeah I'm, oh go ahead Oh, no, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm here for Lama Dude. What up, Lama Dude? <laughs> <laughs> Lama Dude is Lama in dude. the You're building. You're company, right? Like we have it. Yeah. Yeah, Derek co- broke out our surprise. Bro, hey, yeah, right. Surprise. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Time out, time out. I got to give it to the electric company right now. I'm yeah. doing it. I'm okay. doing it. Look at it. Lama Dude's here. I'm My here. boys are calling. The representative. Hey, electric tough. company, hey, they're, through, uh, they're with us through, uh, through thin and thick. So, uh, you know, shout out. Shout out, out, out to you, Derek, too, for yeah, calling. Yeah, exactly. We, appreciate we it, love you, know? you too, Tommy. We yes, love you sir. Too. Yes, sir. Hey, they're always there, man. Win or lose, I, I always love that. When the fans are always with you, win or lose, you know. Yeah. They know, and everyone knows it's tough. We're all, we're all in it together, right? So yes. I appreciate them for sure. Shout out to the electric company. I guess we could go into introducing. <laughs> <laughs> with, Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> we got Llama Dude in the building, and we got our boy Tommy T.K.O. Yo, Olsen yo, yo. in the building. What's up, everybody? Big up, Yay. big up, big up, guys. Yay. Yes. Welcome, welcome. So um, I want to start with Llama Dude first, since Tommy already got to answer something yeah. from a great fan that called in. Shout out to Derek. Um, where did you decide... And, and when did you decide to become a a lights fan and take on the llama persona of the llama dude? Well, it was uh, from the first game. My coworker, he he's into soccer, like watching MLX and stuff like that. He's Salvadorian, and uh, he noticed that there was a lights game, like the lights team coming in together and stuff. And uh, he told me that we should go to the first game. So then I came with him. We got midfield ticket ticket tickets. Mm-hmm. And then uh, from there, I just saw a sports section, and I was like, I was hooked. I was oh, like, wow. I, I, I want to be there and then not here in the middle. I want to be with them supporting the team. Mm-hmm. And then that's how I went to the sports section. And, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. And then I see, I noticed that you're on your, your head, you've got the, the sash or just a, a headband that says uh, founding, Reed's founding season ticket member. Yeah, it's the scarf. It's a scarf that a, you use? Yeah, I'm calling scarf. it a headband, but yeah. it's a scarf. Okay. A scarf. Let me get my fashion right. Yeah. <laughs> nice, fashionable scarf. Hello, yeah. Mo. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fashion uh, lady. Uh, really. Like, I need to get it together and right and tight, right? The new headband scarf. Yes, they are. They are. I love it. Well, you're wearing a scarf, too, so I yep. it, so I don't want to. Yeah. Okay. And you've got, a, um, if the audience is not watching us, we also got, um, he's wearing his, uh, a Tommy Olsen t-shirt that oh, yeah. he had custom made. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, it's uh, signed. I'm jealous and it's signed. Yes, sir. I should have Yeah, I like that. I like that. So, Electric Company. Let's talk about it. Um, 
what got you because do you are you just strictly llama dude out there are you playing the instruments because let, here's the deal guys if you haven't been to a lights game it is really electric intense. flying and intense no pun intended i mean these booster clubs bring it um electric company is amazing uh with their presence i think it is a good strong interaction for um what the fans can um kind of experience as well you guys have great chants and then the chants go with you and then you know it just kind of it gels it works really really well right. so uh, aside from you being llama dude are you playing any instruments in it are you cr coming up with the chants or how did that all get started like i need to know like well, I recently started practicing the trombone. Oh, okay. Which I wow. got from my dad's room. <laughs> oh, your dad plays the trombone? Yeah, he used to. Oh, okay. And then he doesn't use it no more, so I just got it from him, him and I started like practicing and stuff. Yeah, because that's uh, one thing they don't have is a horn section with the band. So yeah, that, that's we, a we good have, We have a trumpet. Oh, you do have a trumpet. We have okay. a trumpet, and we recently just got a saxophone. Too. Oh, awesome. Wow. Awesome. So they're like, going to cut up and do a concert, <laughs> yeah. too, in, the, like, halftime. That's, that's what yeah. it shows. It's like exactly. a concert all game. All yeah, game. what are you talking about? It's a I, big that's concert That's true. That me. is true. It's and because they're right behind the oh, goal, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. that's yeah. all you get. Yeah. yeah. So does that, um, are you able to not necessarily tune them out, but are you able to focus? Or it's how does that work, Tommy? It's easy at home. At home, the smoke is the only one that maybe sometimes I'm like, little like this but honestly everything else it's it's easy at home because they're all saying good things yes. yeah sorry um, about the smoke nah dude nah nah nah, nah, nah. The smoke. and we don't mean like That's smoking right. like cigarette smoke no, they have these a... like what are those like uh... smoke bombs yeah, smoke, smoke bombs. bombs and they're colored nah, but they're, smoke bombs yeah, they're really a, cool hey that's a part of it though yeah have, it is. they have to yeah. be there so one thing about electric company i have to uh, admire about them is the fact that they um do bring like a lot of great energy to this mm -hmm. this field and i mean i think Good that's what energy. made me great energy and i think that's what made me fall in love with the lights even more and being on and, and blessed to be on that sideline to see that happen because it involves you it's all about self-involvement and even when my brother came to the mm -hmm. last match this past friday um he could still hear them they were loud over on the side They're that major. we were They're major. Yeah. He was like, next time I gotta get seats on that. Side. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you really do. Yeah, you do. He, he just like I did. Just like I did. Yeah. Join so, us. <laughs> so let me ask you something. I know because I haven't been able to chance to meet Dolly or Dottie Llama. I have. Right. I. Yeah. I met them. Yeah. So what again prompted you to use the llama mascot as opposed to Cash? Maybe was that a conflict of interest possibly? <laughs> Too many cash masks. Too many cash masks for the field. No, yeah. The the thing was that uh, it was pretty much a coincidence, me getting the llama head, because uh, I just it was a random walk on the store pretty much, and like go, like at Walmart just walking. Like I I forgot I actually forgot what I was there for, mm -hmm. but I, while I was walking, I saw the big boxes they have, mm -hmm. you know where they put the balls or like pillows and stuff, mm -hmm. and then they had a lot of heads like animal heads, <laughs> and then I. I was looking for a llama head because I saw it on the side of the box. So I was looking for it. And I actually had to like go all the way down, like pull everything out of the box. And then I didn't find one. So I got a, a goat head. And then I put everything back in. I was like, I'll just go with the goat head. And then uh, my coworker, he goes to all the lights games. Uh -huh. And then he saw the llama head on another Walmart. And he told me about it. So the next day, I went to another Walmart and got the llama head. And that's probably a good thing because I don't know about how well a goat head the would have The goat head's not going to make it. That the goat head would have Kind of like it might have been like the small well, nomenclature. I just want to know <laughs> no, what well, that would have well, been. You don't, you don't want to say anything about the goat head because we actually got a little goat. Oh. Which is a little kid. Yeah, oh. Little he's, goat. So is it like a baby <laughs> llama or are you just calling it the goat? No, he's little goat. He's little goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So there's a family of oh. you guys. Yeah. It's so like a there, ranch. Yeah, there's so like there's, a whole full fledged so farm out here. I, I'm very intrigued by this <laughs> the man. The Cashman farm. Yeah, I'm really intrigued by We're this. Crazy. We're crazy. Okay. <laughs> I have another question. So we, have you met Dolly and Dotty? The actual llamas yes. while wearing the llama head? Yes. And what was their reaction to that? Plenty of times. Uh. Well, they, they get different reactions. I guess it depends how they're feeling. Because, mm -hmm. like, once they actually came, like, towards me and, like, they actually, like, like a kiss. Like, a lot of oh, kiss, pretty much. cute. And then sometimes they just look away and, like, walk away. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it just depends on them, how they're feeling and stuff. Okay, very cool. Now, what made it um, so interesting that you became a, a big fan of Tommy's? I mean, we're fan, fans of Tommy's as well. <laughs> I mean, we don't have the shirt yet. Right. Basically, <laughs> but, a Seahawks fan as well. I'll, yeah. I'll probably have to get you some shirts. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, you could sell those and probably be okay. If he's okay with it, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's right. the one in there. Hey, so. it's all right. Do it. Go for it. <laughs> 
So what became your um as far as far as uh, picking a player and picking someone like Tommy, which justifiably is not a bad thing at all. Right. But what became um your fandom with Tommy? No, oh, well, he did it last year too. Oh, he did. Yeah, I did, I did uh, another shirt last year. Oh, for, okay. For uh, Kobayashi. Oh, okay. Which was a uh, like a uh, Yoshi body with his head on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. So what made you become a fan though of Tommy's? I'm very curious. Well, uh, the pretty much the heart that he has to play, and like he's always there trying to like block whatever he can block, and like he's had pretty amazing blocks, like pretty pretty amazing blocks, and then the seven clean sheets, which is yeah, I was about to shout that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just recently he got the, clean, the seven clean sheets, so yeah, it's just he's a great player. He has a heart to be here, and he's from here, so you know, all that combined just right. makes it good. And shout out to our born and raised uh, folks from Las Vegas as well, because shout out, you shout know out. that's always a good look. Of course, of course. Yeah. So, yes. um, yeah. That's hey, the, pretty dope. the feelings mutual here, so it's all good. <laughs> so, all good you, how did you react when you knew you had a, a fan out there by the by the name of the Lama Dude? What, what, when did you get that occurrence of knowing that, or acknowledgement of knowing that you had a, a oh man? Fan well, out there? the fa all the fans have been really good this year. Honestly, like turning out for like a lot of like appearances I've been doing. Compared to last year, you know, it's like crazy. I did this Volkswagen thing uh, a few weeks back, and you know, you never know what to expect. It was a it was a Wednesday afternoon, you know, and there was like 200 people there. You know, it was a meet and greet with me, and then you know, it was a promotion for them, whatever, and, and the lights. And there was like 200 people there, like a huge crowd, whatever. You guys were there. Electric Company was uh, there. Oh, you weren't I there, but Electric there. Company was there. Unfor and uh, yeah, no, it's just been it's just been a crazy year. And obviously, yeah, I've, I've seen this guy a few times with the llama head, and then. Obviously, I saw the shirt, and I gave him my gloves, and because he plays goalie too on the side for a little, uh, you know, indoor or whatever. Nice. Oh, we didn't oh, know goalie. that. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's yeah. the best oh, thing yeah. 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 You didn't tell him that. You didn't tell him that. You left that Bob out. Dude, yeah, I was trying to keep it on the low. Dude, trying to keep it on the down. Yeah. But, yep. uh, no, it's my, it's my boy right here. So, And he said he's been playing better with since I gave him my gloves. So. Yeah, yeah, he's been. Hey. Hey, that's They're awesome. like the magical gloves. Yeah. They are the magical right, gloves. Right, I got right. to hold them once. <laughs> Did you know that? I think I, I got a boomerang on them one night. Because she got, her I hands got better there. after that, too. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I don't know. She was, she was able to take we'll better. We'll let callers decide. <laughs> right? You guys can right? call in at 702 608 if you have any questions for Lamadou, Tommy, or uh, Mel and I. Um, that is the number. And, uh, well, one of the reasons why we wanted to have yeah, you guys yeah. on today right, was because to tomorrow it. is the big 4th. They actually have a game tomorrow, 4th yes. of July. There is going to be th <laughs> 3D fireworks. Do I need to put these on? I, I don't, don't even know, know how they right can now. manage that. I, how do you do 3D fireworks? I just want to know. Can somebody call in from the lights maybe for listening? I don't know how. I guess because maybe just because of the blue and the, the blue oh and the God, red. Oh, my God, they hold up. Like, I great. think it's just. It's watching the fireworks, and then you you have those little, you know, it's just extra color, a little extra pop. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I saw extra stuff on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and I see extra stuff on that group, oh, that uh, drawing behind you, Mel. See, look. It's popping out. Yeah, it's 3D. See, yeah. Do you know your art was 3D, Quan? <laughs> if you don't know, you know today. And so is the United States and Jamaican game. Nice. 3D. 2-0, yeah. so by really, the way. 2-0. Nice. Two zero. nice. Um, so we're, we're excited about tomorrow's game. It's the 4th of July. Right. It's a they have they'll have fireworks post game where you can actually come on the field and watch the fireworks with whomever you're there with. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also the 25th anniversary. This makes me feel really old. Yeah, because I remember this team. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ticket mail. The 25th anniversary of when the 1994 USA team went to the were in the FIFA World Cup. Yes. Eric Winalda, Coach Winalda, Winalda was, was on, and yep. he actually scored the very first goal mm -hmm. by the US, Team USA in a World yep. Cup, FIFA World Cup, since 1950. Probably the best player on yeah. the team, too, by the way. Hey, I wouldn't you might be a little that. partial. So yeah. I remember and definitely Kobe out. Jones, <laughs> Alexi Lawless. Yeah. I mean, these are all, I mean, I was still, I was in high school, like early high school, like freshman in high school. I would and that. that makes you that makes me feel even older. That's but cool. I remember I remember it being a huge deal. Yeah. Like World Cup. It right. was in the United States. Right. They were going to like nine different cities all over the U.S. And from what it sounds like, that is still like the biggest World Cup they've had. It's gotten grossed the most money. It's had mm -hmm. the most um, fan base. It's had the most. It was just great. And for 1994 in the United States, 
soccer wasn't as big as it is now. No. So for that to be happening in 94, 25 years ago. Yeah. That's, that's a huge deal. It and, changed everything. It does. And, you know, it's soccer. funny because as I was trying to look for pictures of, like, Coach back in the 94 and the team jerseys, I was like, well, I want to see what, because I don't remember what the yeah. original jerseys look like. I was like, oh, let me see how the, the replica looks like, whatever. And it's funny because, you know, we, we grew up in a time now where our phones are everywhere. Right. I myself, you know, I have, like, 30,000 pictures in my phone. And it's always selfies. There's video. Everybody's videoing or taking pictures. Right. It's hard to find these pictures because no one had phones. It's like literally all old school cameras. They probably had to develop some film right. <laughs> to get these pictures. But the, uh, the lights found them because they did oh, a yeah. good screen of Winalda then to Winalda now and the jersey And I thought they probably had a really good person on Photoshop working with the coloring. Oh, yeah, I don't absolutely. think any... Uh, the current pictures that I found had those kind of great, you know. Oh, no. I know my colors. 90s photos don't look that polished. Not you know either, what I mean? Not. But, yeah. So, that inspiration created these jerseys, inspired for these jerseys yes. to commemorate that game. Yes. And uh, I think tomorrow's game is going to be so special, not only for that, but I'm calling it y'all winning. Ooh. And hey, we're both going to be there. It. And we're going to both be yeah, there, no, of course. No. But I need to know. Can we have Lamadou predict what the outcome of the game, the oh. score is? Do you think he has that prediction? Dude. I mean, are you ready? Because let's let's be clear. Because you guys um, want uh, we had a game last Friday, like I said, against um, OKC Energy. It did not work out in our favor no. at all. That was a you know the game itself. Because I was at that match while you were over at the Aces game. Right. I, I, we had I to split. At, Tommy, had to split. I'm sorry. I know we had to split. If it was my fault, I apologize. Yeah, you can't say sorry, but the loss is on you. That's all. <laughs> right. I knew he was going to say why. that to you. Uh, I knew it. I knew it was going to be your I'll fault. Take I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> take it. I'll take, take it. it. Take I will that. take it. Take that. So you're not showing up tomorrow, though, right? I yeah. am there tomorrow. Right. We're both there tomorrow. We are your good luck charm. But it was a lot of different variables to that match. And shout out to the attendance because the attendance was like no other. Mm -hmm. This is what yep. I like about Lights Games. People show up. So from what I understand, the total amount of attendees for last weekend's game was 9,418 people. That's double the aces. That was double close the aces. Close to a shutout. Or shutout uh, <laughs> close to a uh, sellout. Close yeah. to a sellout. Yeah. I mean, they, I was like, and that's, a lot still, that's major because before yes. we got. Before we just went right into you guys, there was an Aviators game, an Aces game, and y'all's game yep. all on the same night, yep. all at the same time. Yep. And I think the Av Aviators only one upped them by a thousand. I think they were at ten thousand. Uh, uh, lights were nine thousand, and then for the Av uh, Aces, it was like what uh, six or seven thousand or four thousand. I, I I can't remember the math on that. I don't remember. But I know the attendance was there. And here's the other thing that I did not notice is that our beloved coach. Hashtag Winalda Wednesdays. Hashtag coaching by Winalda. Got ejected from the match. Oh, yeah. What was that all about? Do you know? Tom? Like, what was it going was, on? There was, was a lot of calls that were bad. There was a lot of um, yellow cards being thrown left and right. I, I I didn't understand it. I was just like, come on. For for little mundane things. I just thought they were real Yeah, punitive. I know. The refereeing was questionable. And mm -hmm. it was just, he got tossed because he had been going back and forth for a while all game. And I think he got a warning. And, uh warning or two and just you know he kind of popped off but hey i mean yeah the, the refereeing wasn't wasn't amazing so you know sometimes it happens yeah it does happen it does happen and um to to not your fault of your own and i know you were visibly frustrated by the end of that match because we ended i mean it was we actually got some overtime minutes off of some calls like we were able to get add more minutes on mm -hmm. uh for the match i wouldn't say overtime minutes, but actual actual 10 more minutes added i believe it was like 88 minutes we were into the game. Two minutes left of the match yeah. and OKC scores. I had never seen Tommy <laughs> so upset. <laughs> like, yeah, was... when the game was over, like, Tommy walked to the dugout area. Did not say a word. Looked. I was like, you'll be okay, Tommy. Hey, he listen, like, Mo texted me. was like, Tommy's pet. No, don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, He was oh. upset. Now, that's a tough one to swallow, especially if you lose late like that, A team, you know, against a team that you probably outplayed most of the game. And yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you know, as a goalie when you get scored on that late. And at home, too. We hadn't lost all year. So, I need to go in and cool off for a minute and then uh, – come back out and just, you know, chill a little bit. So but. when you went back there, can, give us a, the back on that. Did you kick a cooler? Did you punch a lot? You know, there's a, there's a broken it? hamper in there. but <laughs> <laughs> What else? 
<laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the hamper's not too How are your knuckles? Are your knuckles you okay? Hamper? Did you kick the hamper? Oh, yeah, I kicked it. I kicked As a soccer it. player, I'm wondering, are you punching or are you kicking oh, things? Yeah, I wasn't. Okay. Uh, okay. I kicked it. Yeah, okay. yeah. The, our, our team, well, when all the sun is our team, like, equipment guy. Yeah, shout oh, out to him. So yeah. I go back yeah. in there, lady's like, what happened to the hamper? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I think someone kicked it and ran out of here. <laughs> That's what I said. Is there, like, a hole in the hamper, or what did he yeah, notice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's gone. You need a new hamper. Mo needs, yeah. like, pictures of the hamper just now. Like, She's I, really no one was, I need details. No one I was in there, though, so I was like... Dude, I don't know what happened. This like, yeah, someone, absolutely. Blaming on someone else. Right there. The footage. They're right, like, wait right, a minute, was that right. Tommy? Right. I think it oh, was right. Lama Dude. I think, I think yeah, I think Lama Dude came here and kicked it. Like, <laughs> and Lama Dude, what were your emotions for that match? What was what were you what was going through your head? Oh uh, man, it was that? it was a roller coaster. It really was. Yeah, it was a roller coaster. We had a lot of opportunities and we were all happy and then once like it hit like on the Faro one where it hit the post. Yeah, we had a shot to hit the post. Yeah, yeah. So your your energy is up here, you know. You're looking for the goal, and then the shot comes, and then it hits the pole. So your energy is oh down yeah, and, right. I yeah. saw that play, and the cannons were ready. Like we were ready. Yeah, yeah, we were, we were ready. ready for that we one. were ready to launch. Yeah, we were ready. Yeah, it's kind of like oh. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, they it, get all ready and psyched yeah, up, yeah, those right. guys that are yep. doing the oh, cannons. Yeah. And Bobo, shout out to Bobo, because he does a great job of pumping the honors. Like, it's yeah, coming, yeah. it's coming. Yeah, like, we yeah. were all like, it's coming, it's coming. Guess what? They're going to score again. Guess what? There's, there's time. We well, can that's do the this. thing, we too. Yeah, we, if it. anyone was going to score, it looked like it was going to be us. Right. So then when they scored right. late, it was like, that's, that's you know, okay. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Oh, he, he, Bobo, hey, shout out to him. He still was like, we got time, you guys. We got time. Yeah. How much time was left? Probably like. Uh, seven minutes if you include extra time. That's still good enough. No, that is. Well, yeah. two Anything minutes was 88, so two minutes plus like five minutes of extra yeah, time. Yeah, we so. have five minutes extra added. Yeah. Yeah. How was Coach after that game? He was pretty pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was frustrated with the Is it execution? Ref. Why? Why? It sounded, uh, one of the, somebody's in our comments talking about, um, shout out to Nelson, who's in there. Coach Mock the ref, he said. Yeah, no. Oh. oh, yeah, no. He was he was hot for sure. Um, you know, like old was, Eric Winalda. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it, his player, his inner player definitely came out. Um, you know, after the game, it's just frustrating when, you know, when you lose to a team, especially a team you, you know you can beat. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. probably have more quality then, yeah. but, you know, that's soccer. Ooh, is yeah. that a little pettiness over there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh for sure, for sure. You should have seen my post-game interview. <laughs> well, my cousin called me, he's like, you salty? What am I not? Dude, come on. <laughs> but he wasn't salty enough to give me a happy birthday shout out. So that was cute. Yeah, I kind of waited till he cooled you. off a little bit because. <laughs> no, when she said that, I was like, all right. All right okay. I know, because I really didn't want to poke the bear. <laughs> and I was like, I saw, you know, Harry interviewing him. Shout out to uh, Harry again. Yes. I, I didn't want to, you know, he was saying it, and I didn't want him to have to repeat himself. You know, we lost, and that's okay. And I know it was the first home loss, but that's okay. It's going to be the first and the last, because guess what? That's it. There we win it tomorrow. Yes, sir, yes, of sir, course. Yes, sir, and we got Lama Dude going to predict the outcome of the score. I'm so what I'm about go for a three zero? Three zero? Oh, hey, I'll take that. I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that too. I'm cool with that too. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with that. Hey, I want to see that. a lot of confetti out there. Uh, yeah, I'm cool it. with that. So then your next home game is not until the 27th of July. You guys I think play. it's an away game actually. Is it away game against yeah, uh, yeah, Rio yeah, Grande? Yeah. No, we played Tacoma. I think. Oh, no, that's well, oh, okay. But the next home one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be the 27th, right? Okay, I I kind of got them mixed up. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know that. The 27th. We're just trying to quiz you, Tommy. Yeah, I know, right? We're gonna report back to coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, you know, uh, we've got quite a few home games. So I want everybody to show up to this one. Well, they've got, that, you've got like a nice mark. little break. Yeah. After this game, you've got like a little break. Yeah, it's good. It just definitely for our team. We, you know, we got a lot. Some guys are injured and, you know, it's, you know, it's a lot. Here's of season, a question so. because since we're in like the Major League Baseball All-Star Weekend, we're in um, even our Minor League Baseball team's All-Star Weekend is next week. Is there like a soccer, you know, we're new fans here still, so bear with us. Yeah. Is there like an All-Star soccer? Right, that's a good question. Um, not, no, not for our league, actually. There should be. I don't yeah. know why there's not. I, hey, USL? I, no, yeah, come honestly. On. No, honestly, yeah, I would be surprised in the next, you know, few years they don't they don't do something like that because minor league baseball. Well, does because that, I so. mean, it's like you get, and that's usually what all star breaks are for is a break. Yeah. Right. So it would be nice if you know you guys would have this two weeks off where you got you know they got to get together with all the you know top players or whatnot or the voted players to I'm come in and have they a don't game. Because I mean, there's a big, I mean, there's a ton of teams. Hello. And there's obviously yeah. two conferences, so. They really and a should long do that. schedule. And, and I, the I popularity thought of the idea. Of, so yeah, if anyone right. wants to give me so, credit. Yeah. But and the popularity is spiked too. So I don't, you know, I don't see why you couldn't do that. Now but. does MLS have an yeah, all-star yeah, game? Okay. Yeah, okay. So here's the thing, and this is a hot button topic because we talked about this. Cashman Field. Yeah. 
possibly up for grabs to be. Well, it is up for grabs. I mean, right. we just have to have the right investor come in and redo the stadium and possible MLS. How do the I mean, players well, they, feel yeah, about it? Right well, they team. have an investor in there. They oh, have, they do. They, oh, okay. There's, yeah. you know, more or less there's, nego- well. What are you able to talk they're about? They're dealing with, the city council has singled out uh, one group that they're dealing with. So they're already t- in talks with dealing with. They just have to get a deal done in the next, like, 150 days or something like that. Okay. Um, so there's somebody already there that's interested in buying a team. And if they get a project done with city council, then it's, it's a done deal. Um, and Brett Lashbrook's already uh, said that he would sell the team. Uh, no problem. You know, so it's close. It's very close. Um, everyone I've talked to is very upbeat about it. You know, it's now it's really just about obviously getting a deal done and then having MLS come in. But MLS is interested, too, because, you know, it's Vegas. It's the hot spot right now. Mm-hmm. And, and we have attendance. You know, there's... Yeah, compared to a lot of USL yeah. teams, I mean, Sacramento has great attendance, and they're up there, and there's a few others, but you know, we're we're right there. So you know, we proved it. If you're getting ten thousand people more or less at a USL game, there's no problem. You shouldn't get. Which I know. think it's right. important that the state, the, you know, it stay stays there. Where, yeah, like don't because remember bring it they were into talking the, Raiders, the and that wasn't no. even set up for no. that. And well, I don't well, that. That's crazy. Well, that's the thing too. Um, you know, once this all started happening. Foley, the right. uh, Knights owner, mm-hmm. was like, wait, what's going on over there? Yeah. I want a piece mm-hmm. of that. How so can I get some more He's money? saying, well, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, but we'll play at Raider Stadium. And, you know, I'm all for whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Sure. As long as it's MLS and, and Vegas, I'm cool with it. I personally, being a Vegas guy and growing up 10 minutes down the road from here, would love it to be a Cashman and just yeah. revitalize that whole area. That would because, be and just connect. The area of, could use there it. There could oh, use absolutely. it. And, and, and the you, community is there. 100%. And if yeah, you I, live, yeah. I live like four blocks from there. So yeah, yeah I, so I could go walking if I wanted to. See, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. And if you can connect Fremont Street to, to you know, Cashman and really make yeah. it, so, you know, people yeah. walking to the games, doing this and that. Because oh, in yeah. that little gap, there's not much there. So it's like you need to. It can revitalize the whole area. And that's what they would do. They would tear down Cashman and just kind of start fresh. Yeah, so. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. You know, that would be sweet. Yeah, that would be. What would be the opportunity for the current USL players to be able? I mean, is there what's the process of being able to try out for an MLS? Yeah, how does that work? um, No, well, I mean, assuming, you know, they would definitely consider Winalda as being the next coach. It wouldn't be a for sure thing, but they would, you know, definitely consider that. And then he would kind of give a few guys shots. I mean, you're looking at probably like maybe, you know, four or five players, though. That's. Like since FC Cincinnati, who just was at USL last year, right, moved right. up this year, and I they think. didn't even have attendance. No, no, they had great attendance. Oh, really? Actually. Yeah, no. since Cincinnati had great. But they didn't do good. It was one or the other. They weren't yeah, good. They, or I they don't didn't. think they had a great year the okay. year, year prior. But you know, I think they kept maybe three guys from that. Oh, USL okay. Team. Well, that's good. And then they yeah. kept the coach for like ten games, and then they fired. <laughs> oh, him. Wow. oh wow! So it's, then it's, it's again that's a tricky slippery slope. You yeah. can get a coach right. to that level, and they may not be able to coach you. Which I highly doubt. When Alda wouldn't be able to do that, yeah, right? but you know it's, what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's a tough thing, though. But, yeah, you're not going to put bring the whole team. To right, MLS absolutely. And work. then there's yeah. no way that they would have, you can't really have a USL and an MLS. Team. No, not, not not necessarily. What I, if, like, the USL was, like, Henderson? Like, Yeah. Because <laughs> technically, because, the- you know, Seattle has the Sounders and Tacoma has the ML, uh, USL team. Yeah. Right. It's so that team, works. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, I think it would be tough because you're really drawn. You're, you're really <laughs> like Tacoma struggles with attendance. Oh yeah, and, well it's uh, Tacoma. Well yeah, it's Tacoma, Here and it's just Washington like you know, again. Sounders are so big there, <laughs> so you know you're not necessarily gonna. And a lot of those Tacoma kids are Sounders like youth kids, like they're 17, gotcha. 16. Okay. And so that it's it's a hard thing for Tacoma because you're really playing kids against you know big boys. That's why they're in last place, and they've mm. been struggled. They struggled mm-hmm. the last three years, mm. and Seattle Sounders doesn't really put that much time and effort into them so that's kind of a tricky area that usl is trying to figure that out you know because usl wants to be their own league they want to sure. they're obviously second division but they don't want little kids playing too so you know it's it's tricky but hey i mean if vegas keeps going i guess you could support I, uh, i'm all for the revitalization of downtown i mean we started with it i mean they're building like up on fremont street i think another project of resort casino is getting built well even how they changed and up downtown like yeah. main street the arts district exactly all those little bars that are down and then there. hello smith center is part of that too yeah. all of that so why not keep pushing towards cashman field and beyond i mean when we saw the mock-up it looked like you had some high-rise condos there some retail the mock-up space. looked the like, mock-up looked it, like was it was downtown Summerlin. Yeah. i was oh, like whoa yeah. the mock-up makes you want to be like i'm coming I over mean, here but why not because yeah. i mean that's what actually i was on espn radio like th- three weeks few weeks back and they asked me the same question i said you know, make it a social event, you know, make it, you know, people want to go there, drink, get, go yeah. to a restaurant. 
you know, maybe they live in a condo right down the street, whatever. Sure. They can, you know, something to do. That's why, that's why the av- or the aviators are doing well. Well, and make Listen, it still accessible to the, to the yeah, local, to the local community. Yeah, exactly. And that's There's, the thing. Don't don't take the locals out of it no. because you've got a lot of born and raised that still live on the east side of town. They yeah. still live yeah. central Las Vegas. Sure. Absolutely. Still, yeah. you know, loyal to that. But so. I just mean aviators. You know, minor league baseball is great. Yeah. But they're not selling out because it's baseball. They're no. selling out because it's, it's a it's cool stadium. It's in Summerlin. Cool. It's Summerlin. It's Summerlin. There's yeah. a pool. Summerlin. Summerlin. You can get some drinks, go to the game, you got a restaurant. Yeah. Make it something like that Game down here. Right. movies, yeah. right. Red Rock Casino. Yeah. Right. Make skinny it like fats. that down here. and Shout then you know. skinny fats. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I mean, <laughs> so it's, uh, you know. Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack. Shout out to Nordstrom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But see, we could have that all over on this side of town. <laughs> exactly. We could totally exactly. have that. I exactly. see that future happening for sure. I think it's fine. So um, because it's the summer. And how I mentioned in our first interview with you, Tommy, and new to Llama Dude, we're very ingenuitive as far as the lights go. They're very ingenuitive in the things they do. Okay. So right now they have the little pools, the kitty pool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the kitty pool. And, uh, Pretty much like the aviator's pool. Yeah, you know, oh, no, no, no. Totally. Yeah, totally like it. But, but it's not sold out. So you're yeah, right out. Yeah, right. But for it's $50, you and... can have your own personal pool. With the little stepping with the lights. With, with, with the little but stepping what, what I think is funny is the stepping schools, because it's not like you couldn't get in it. They put a stepping stool next to it, so <laughs> just in case that one foot drops. And they got a lifeguard on duty, too, if I'm not mistaken. No, they don't. I'm Are just you? being funny. Who's I don't drowned? know. They're the lifeguard. Right. Right. Hey, I'll volunteer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get you a life jacket yeah. for tomorrow's game, Mama Dude. So oh, I got something for tomorrow's <laughs> game. I got uh, oh, you do? Ooh. Ooh. I got something for Really? Make really? sure you get your picture with Llama Dude tomorrow and tag us in and it so we can. Yeah, I'll be very is, noticeable. Though. <laughs> and what time is your guys' tailgate? Because that's very important. You guys right. can come and meet Llama Dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meet the Dottie and Dolly Llama. Right. I never make it on time to see all of that, and I'm, I'm so jealous. You should make it. I need <laughs> Hello? to make it. Yeah. No excuses. Well, tailgate starts at 5, and we're like right next to the llamas. Okay. So if you show up, right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, like perfect. the company sits like right there in the corner okay. where the grass area is at. Okay. Like right on the main entrance, that's where we stay at. And then what's your tailgating consist of as far as what do you guys do to, to prep yourself to get ready and motivated for the, the match? I'm oh. you guys drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we got, we got a little... Well, bar. we always like the courage juice, of course. How many, how many Winalda drinks do you right, guys right, have? Oh, what are they how many Haritos? The Waldos. Yeah, the Waldos. Yeah, Waldos. And, like, yeah. the Waldos. Yeah. We, yeah. Call yeah. It. we got yellow shots. Yellow, yellow shots. shots. Yeah, okay. we got yellow shots. We got mm. beer. We got food. Very nice. So you're welcome to join us. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lama <laughs> Yeah, dude. no problem. Yeah, you guys come down and check out this lights. And then the fireworks show and all of this. And then the jerseys. So if you bought, I believe it was like $94. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, ticket, the ticket the jersey. jersey. And that's it. I think it was something else. I think that's it. No, it was a ticket. $50 for uh, uh, season ticket members. Yes, $50 for season ticket members. So it was a discount on that. But $94 gives you a ticket and the fresh jersey. And so for anybody else listening out there, I know we have some people on the Lights fan page Mm -hmm. around there. So you know our girl Mo, she's a Llama fan. But for the season ticket holders, there's a whole month of giveaways because I think, well, this is the ticket holders. They, you know, paid good decent money for the whole season and i think because there's been some discounted tickets throughout the you know games like yesterday because it was 702 day they were seven dollars and two cents yeah i saw that so i'm sure that some season ticket holders are kind of like wait a minute i have paid this much for all my tickets so giving back to those people and for the month of july they have different drawings there's like a two-night staycation at the plaza hotel nice there's a hundred dollar shopping spree at la bonita with a lights player so if you get a go you can probably pick tommy Tommy. to go grocery shopping in la bonita actually i think somebody already won that one oh really oh Oh, sorry that was july 2nd yeah yeah oh okay who won is that me for sure who's picking or is it like they pick any player i don't know i think they pick players i'm not sure i'm not sure how that works do you know who won uh, it's Maria something. I, I so forgot. Oh, Maria. Maria. to Maria for winning. Tag us in some pictures. Yeah, and I want to see awesome. which player she picks. To <laughs> yeah, go I want to know. Right. Well, also there's the so tomorrow's um, ticket drawing is gonna be for Ronaldo's signed jersey. One of oh, these bad nice. boys right here. Nice. Get your jersey um, signed. There's a free case of um, Haritos flavor. Your favorite Haritos flavor. I like the Mandarin. There's 20 free tickets for a Lights FC home game oh, match, very so you can nice. give out to the whole crew. Okay, cool. We've got happy hour drinks with Coach, probably drinking mm. Waldo's. So at the happier hour, you're having Waldo's with Winalda. Hello. There's also a free pitch side pool party on the t- August 24th. That's the one we need to be invited to. 
Just let us get in the pool with you. Yeah, that's all we want. I'll bring a floaty. <laughs> I, don't know, but I don't know if an, uh, we will, I don't know if I clearly will fit in it, but maybe. I think, you know, if we overflow the kiddie pool, hey, that's just what happens. We just refill it with <laughs> the water, right? Yeah. Just pour the water with, on in. Well, well, hey, well, yeah. for, you don't have to win it. For $50, you could be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we want an invitation, though, Llama Dude. Just like we want an invitation to sit up there with the electric company. Oh, no, no, time. no. You're invited. You can oh, come good. in anytime. Oh, cool. Hey, hey, we'll you, hey you can march with us, too. Yeah, I'll be ready. Tomorrow, we might be. We might. Hey, be. They're lit. They're yeah. lit. They are lit. Literally. Yeah, Speaking of lit, lit, my brother at this match was was lit. Not in a bad way. I don't want to <laughs> put him on blast. But he was having a great time. That's he was good. like this was his first lights experience. Right. He had an amazing time. He invested in a couple of the two dollar shots, not too over exaggerated. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a couple. Just a couple. He was able to drink responsibly. He was very responsible. Uh but you know, I go back and check on him, like, how you doing, Brian? How you doing, bro? He's like I'm great. This is great. I'm loving this. It's I nice love it. I it's love not it. Yep. Hot. It's I great. It. I gotta come back to one of these again. You know. That's what we and want. I always try to tell people, you come to a lights game. It is so much fun. It really is. It's it a is. really good time. Shout out to our friends that are coming because I I sent a mass text out. We got Yay. quite a few people. And I spread the word a little bit too. Yeah. Chris, yesterday because the tickets were seven dollars two cents. Who yeah, can't right. I spend seven dollars and two cents? Right. And, and a free dollars. fireworks show. And it's ten dollars yeah, even if you didn't. And, and, and even if you wanted to get a ticket on the berm. You can sit on the grass with it, watch the fireworks. Look at you and all this tech on the hey, terminology. Hey, hey, she's it. a light. Right? I am. I'm, I'm there. there. I'm there. I just I need love to be it. Donnie I love I'll it. tell you this time when I was like, yo, I don't know what to do. Like, we've got an Aces game and a Lights game. I'm going Lights game. I was like, okay, I'm going the Aces I'm game. It's all good. I'm it's all good. I get it. You got to spread the love. I'm loyal. I'm No, I'm not too salty, all right? Please don't You got to spread the love. Yeah. I had to, you know, we had to make sure that we were covering bases here. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, hey, hey, shout out us, to the Aces, all right? Yeah, shout out to them. They show us love, and you guys show us Absolutely a lot of love, too. Right. And Lama Dude showing us love. Yep. So, um, let's talk about this U.S. women's national team. Let's. Okay? Let's, let's talk about it. As we're watching the guys, they're 3-1 right, right now. 3-1 right now. Go USA. Oh, we're yeah. an extra. Oh, no, no. No, I think that's it. They're going oh, to the championship wow. against nice. uh, Mexico. So, our women's team is going to the championship. Yes. Our yes. men's team On is about Sunday. to go to the championship. And uh, they're beasting. And I guess there was a little controversy that they were being a little too arrogant on their scoring. Like the first game, the very first, first game, game, they were yeah. mad about them celebrating. They're still mad about them celebrating. And it's like, excuse me, would you not be <laughs> celebrating if you were scoring all those points? It's because it's the USA. Every other country wants to get it. If they're not winning, if we're winning, then that's an issue for everybody else. Right. You know, but this this time it was the, the tea sipping. You yeah, know. I like that. I, I like that. Oh, that, 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 was, that was great, right? <laughs> the best. It yeah, was the game. best. Yeah. The, the first game was was a little tougher, I think. Just my take on it, it was they had no problem celebrating. It's just when it got to like 10, 11, 12, 13. But each player was scoring. A lot of them were individual scores, so you had to celebrate each player. That it wasn't like one person scored. There's, there's, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. But I remember there was like the tough goal. They were all doing. They were all the whole bench was up. They're all doing high fives, and that's it's great. I get it, but so where do you but, draw the line, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, I, think, I, need to know. I just think uh, you know, once you're probably past ten, I think it's probably just you know, like ten nothing. What if it was like ten four? A ten four is okay. I'm saying it's a ten goal gap, you know. Got Because I mean, I just think Thailand specifically. No, I have no problem with celebrating, but you know, once you get to that point, especially those girls, you know, hey, it's it's love and zero. <laughs> but here's We're the chilling. thing: Thailand was supposed to be the favorite to win. What? It, what? what? No, nah, you're crazy. You're no, crazy. no, you're they crazy. were. They like they were super aggressive, and nah. they were expecting to win that match. No. And I think they came in with the I attitude think Thailand of Thailand was the worst team in the whole. Well, tournament. I think they are now, absolutely, yeah. with that, especially with that final score. But Thailand, they were trying to be that team that thought they could beat them. Listen, I have no problem with the women with the tea thing, with the women celebrating. They're getting harped on too much in the first place. Yeah, what do you think girls. about that? I, I, my only thing was when it's 12-0 as a men's team. If you're if your team celebrating like that, you're probably just like. I, at least from my perspective. You guys get sensitive about that? Not yeah. sensitive, but it's probably like, bro, we're up 13. This team is terrible. If you watch that Thailand oh, team, too, they, you, yeah. honestly, they probably would lose their high school team. And, and so, oh, you know, and that's, and that's not a shout out. It, that's just, Does that's a thing. Not, <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> listen, I, I, no, honestly, that's it. But, you don't want to come talk and smack to Tommy. He will kill no. you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but there's not, I listen, I get it to World Cup. I don't think they should be criticized for it. I'm just saying, from if you're from a men's perspective, it was the men's, men's World Cup, and you're, you're up 10-0. 
you're probably going to get the same reaction if you're doing that. But as far as the other things go, the tea, I loved it. Why not? Are you kidding yeah. me? Yep. And yeah, and they get good. too much grief, you know, probably because they're women, A, and, you know, it's the U.S., like you said. So, listen, I'm all for the U.S. team. Shout out to them. They're great. Um, great players, too. I mean. Man. They are beasts. Really good All players. I've been impressed, honestly. All of them. And when they said that uh, Megan Rapinoe wasn't playing in the last night's match, I was like, hot. Wait, what? I was like, she's been the Because it was like earner. nobody like, knew she was injured on? until all yeah. of a sudden she's not starting. I'm like, wait, what? And then they said the hamstring thing, and I'm like, is it a political thing? Are they punishing? Like, I didn't know what was going what on. What do you feel about her and her discussion over 45? Yes, yes. We won't mention outspoken. the name. Oh, come on. And being outspoken to that. No, nah, come on. She, what is, she didn't do anything else. She's, but it's freedom of speech. She's in the right. What do you mean? What do you, what do you what do you expect a a woman who is openly gay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is you know the probably the star of her team? You know, who's very talkative on these things? Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think Trump's gonna? You know, and I don't care that she said that. It's everyone is not the first. She's not the first person to say that. No. You know. But she and is very vocal about her stances. She's vocal, and yeah. that's fine. But, you know, what has Trump done for her? You know, has he been overly supportive to her or... Or Team or, USA, or team period. Team USA. USA. Well, he did invite them now, I guess, if they win or lose. Or to Whatever. gay people in general. So, I mean, absolutely, it's just, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I'll, you know, I'm all with her. Whatever, you know. And she knelt with Cap. Good for her. Yeah. And, and that was the start and of she's, it. And, she and, and she's Sue Bird's girlfriend. Honestly, yes. that's... Yeah, and that, honestly, or, that was probably the farthest she's ever gone, you know. Mm -hmm. like that she's always pretty pretty elegant with what she says and, mm -hmm. and always respectful so right you, but you some know. people can take it out of you and i know if i were to have a conversation with 45 it would come out of me too well it's a passionate thing it's such a passionate topic he and it was pride month and right. this discussion's right. happening so you get, still yeah. and and it yeah. wasn't like she was on the podium at the world cup i was just some question and someone no, no, had a camera walk. in her face yeah, and, right. and the media you know, asking and, questions. and she just said it and, you know maybe she Maybe she didn't have to say it like that, but, you know, I don't... No, I'm she can say it anytime she wants to say it. Yeah. She can say... If it yeah. for the show, I'd be dropping them, too. Yeah. So... <laughs> no, I mean... I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm completely... If you were to catch me off guard, you yeah. would hear the same. Catch me no, outside. That's, what, that's, what, me outside. that's <laughs> what I'm saying, too. So, and I, I'm, I, I like Rapina, too. And she's always, you know, respectful. And let's too, not forget that Julie Ertz is on it. Yes, Julie yeah. Ertz yeah. and uh, the only uh, African-American player is on that team, too. Oh, yeah? And she's doing big things as well oh, man. and we'll take it yeah. because it's women and we're girl power and so right they now. play on sunday yes they do 8 a.m yes they do um i know um i know that uh brian allerman from the with the outlaws they're mm -hmm. actually having a watch party on sunday oh nice at What's the one on top? It's McGullen. Miss Mullins. 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 That's Mullins. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm always. In, I just want to <laughs> oh, yeah. feel like. Yeah. Something else. Oh, anyway. they're right by the Orleans. Yep. 8 a.m. The they're okay. gonna have the watch party there. Um. He actually also mentioned shout out to him because he's gonna be with an original jersey at the Ooh. game tomorrow. So yeah. look for the original <laughs> USA jersey nice. tomorrow Very and check nice. that one out. That'll, That'll be, be interesting. Dope. Also, uh, Electric Company will be at Starboard. Where? Starboard, uh, Starboard Tech. Where's, Where's that? that? Uh, it's on Sahara and uh, Eastern. On there. For the watch party, you guys are having a watch party. Oh, for a watch party. Oh, yeah. okay. Watch party too. Oh, yeah. cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So come out and support. You got two venues to go to. My Rathers and probably go to Electric Company. Yeah. Roll with them. Are you going to wear the llama head there too? Yeah, sure. Pull, pull, <laughs> get like a Team USA <laughs> banner on there yeah. instead. Yeah. yeah. You, you got to be there to see what I wear. Oh. You got to be there. Okay. It's very secretive. Yeah. Yep. And they're playing uh, Netherlands, right? Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. That's what yep. Playing. Yep. Well, that's going to be good. So, I mean, we can segue real quick. Everybody's talking about Kawhi before we wrap up. I mean, hey, I feel like hey, we're watching. Man. I feel like it's a watch thing on Kawhi. I'm just trying to figure out. I'd like, rather go watch planes take off than know when he's going. <laughs> Here's the deal. It was interesting at first. Grand that what was that six hour span? We had all these different free agency pick. You know, Katie mm -hmm, Kyrie mm -hmm, was mm -hmm, gone. Mm -hmm, you know, Jimmy Butler, mm -hmm. um, Clay signed. All these things happened in like a matter of six hours, which happened to be while I was at the pool on my birthday. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, another one, another. And then all of a sudden. Now we have this, like, the Kawhi look. The I feel Kawhi like watch. I, I'm just mentally. Like, the entire city of Toronto was stalking him outside of a hotel. Yeah, they thought to he see was what he's going to do. Yeah. So what I, do you guys think he's going to do? Llama, you're up. Llama's like, man, <laughs> who, pass, who, who, soccer. Who? Exactly. Yeah, he's Tommy, a football what do you think? guy. Oh, man. He's staying in Toronto. I get why he's doing this, though. He wants to be in the spotlight for, you know, a few more days. But yeah. Everyone's talking about him. 
Everyone's excited. I want him to go to the Lakers. No, I don't want him to go to the Lakers. Don't want him to go to the Lakers. I really, I really, I you mean, don't. we'll see. Aren't you I a mean, Lakers fan? I am a Lakers fan, but at the same time, I just don't know how that dynamic's going to work with LeBron. Uh, Kawhi and AD. Kawhi. I mean, three of the best players they in the are game. The three Who best cares? Players. Is there going to be an ego thing? It's a year, you know. We know how that's wrong because we get Hollywood when we come to LA. Yeah, but they're recruiting him, so they have to be. You know, they did it with the Heat. But here's the deal: someone, and I think Miami I was watching Jalen Rose totally today when he mentioned thing. it. So, and Jalen said he's 99 percent sure that this is going to happen mm-hmm. to stay in Toronto. He because they're going to give him a max deal. But no, they said they're going to give him the two-year contract. And then at 10 years, you get the super max deal. Yep. So right. why not stay for those two years? Then you become a free agent. And yeah. you can go wherever you want and get super max. That's, yeah. Hey. Yeah. That's a, that's a fact because I heard the same thing. Yeah. You got yeah. your stuff right for sure. I mean, hey. Tommy, we He's might know man. a little something about something sometimes. Oh, hey, no. You guys know. <laughs> you got it more than I do. Are you crazy? I learned my lesson the first time I came here. I was I, like, what? Yeah. And who? I don't know any of this stuff. You guys are way better than I checked I like out to, totally I, on this thing because I'm so MLB right now, it's not even funny. Like, Shout I'm out to John right Weeks now. right now, who's at the Dodgers game. Is he was he? like, I'm going to listen while I'm watching the game. And I was yeah, like, John, yeah, John, represent Do- those boys in blue. That's my team right there. <laughs> Number one in the league had right a few now. Of these and That's okay. Now, but I was like, yeah, Mo's Dodgers. She'd I sure am. And guess what? We're going to the World Series and we're going to win this time. I'll go to this the game with our you. I'm with you because I know my team ain't going to win. Yeah, we got to do it, man. Number one in the league. Yankees are trailing like right behind us. They're, they're chomping on our heels. But I think the Dodgers, we got this. By the way, you, you guys. All sports, you cover everything. You're, well, we just love it. I all. love it. No, we I respect it. it. It's, there's no, there's no favorites. You're just like I'm doing this. But and Tommy, this and I have this to this tell you, I've learned that. a lot for you guys. Seriously, and I've learned a Absolutely. lot from soccer because I wasn't into soccer. Me neither. So I, 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 I hated it when I was a kid. Like, That's okay. Absolutely. It wasn't even think of. Still hate, going. I just didn't it's still know. going. I know. Yeah. All I know is. You know what I think it is? I feel like it's the. You know, it's like the Knights got me to like, like me to like hockey. And I mm-hmm. feel like the lights have helped me in liking okay. soccer. Yeah. I don't think that there's, I don't think I'd be watching soccer if it wasn't for you guys. And yeah, for the absolutely. energy at the games, like even last year when I came before, you know, I mean, those games were still pretty hyped too. Yeah. You guys, I know you guys didn't do as well. It was a different vibe though. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah but still, but still, yeah, absolutely. But it was good. But that's the thing. It's the vibe. It's the chanting. It's, and I was telling my brother kind of schooling him. The like, community. I'm a, the community. And I was schooling my brother like I knew everything. Like, I was like, yeah, <laughs> go to the UK. Everybody stands at soccer at soccer at stadiums and you cannot sit down. Like, that yeah. is the rule. Like, if you, you just if can't sit down, this no, is the problem. If, I, if there's anything you guys should put on your bucket list. And I remember Odell actually the other day, like three weeks ago, made a, made a comment about how saying NFL fans need to be more like, you know, European soccer fans. Yeah. And I say on your bucket list, go to a uh, English Premier League oh. first division soccer game. We got to do it. You have, it will change your it, – it's the greatest sporting event just because everyone is so in tune with the game. First of all, everyone's standing, but everyone's reacting to every single play. It's not like, you know, American it's fans if, for soccer, it's more like if you score, yay, or it's whatever. It's how we are in football yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. English soccer, it's like everything—a foul. Everyone's, you know, it's everyone's chanting all together. It's, it's, it's quite so something. So we need to so plan a trip. That's on the, the bucket list, right yeah, there. Yeah, we do. Okay. We do. That is on the bucket list. Well, it's crazy because sure. when I went, when I went to a Sounders game, I, I, you know, I think I've told the story before, but I was at the Big Three. It was like a semifinal in Seattle. Same day was, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I'll go. Get, I have a friend to give me tickets. Like here's tickets to the game. I was like, oh sweet, I'll go sit down, chill, whatever. We didn't sit down one time. <laughs> You're tired after, yeah. I was already up all day, and I'm thinking, I'll just sit down and watch the cool soccer game. Yeah. No, we stood up the whole <laughs> time. I was like, who does this? Well, soccer fans do. If there's anything that's close to, you know, European football, it would be Seattle or Portland. That that yeah. kind of vibe. That's, I heard they, Portland's they the timbers best. are pretty crazy, oh, too. The Pacific Northwest, for so- that's the soccer uh, heaven right there that's crazy. for yeah. uh, America. So. Well, Vegas is going to be next. Because yes, I ma'am. think with our yes, attendance ma'am. of having 9,400, we were ready. Yes, ma'am. And they were there. And I think tomorrow we're going to be ready. And we'll be there. So, so one more question that somebody brought up. In oh, okay. The chat. Go for um, it. What about, what are your feelings on the disparity? Because we've discussed yeah. disparity in women's yeah, basketball. I was going to bring that up, but I didn't know how much time we had. We got Go some time. It. Yeah. But what, as far as, you know, there is this thing concerned now as far as the, especially the USA women's team has wanted to, has been fighting for getting equal pay. Mm-hmm. What, what do you, I mean, is there feelings about that? I mean. Um, that's, it's a tough, it's, it's, it's such a tough area. I mean. For me, I you know I haven't looked at the numbers, especially right now, because it's, sure. it's a numbers game at the end of the day. Um, I'm all for fair pay, absolutely. Mm-hmm. There's no that shouldn't that shouldn't even be a problem. Honestly, right. I know it's still probably a problem. Um, 
I know, I don't know specifically right now, but I know when they brought it up last World Cup and the World Cup was in Canada, it was for the Women's World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, and so what the what they did was they, and I would do this too, by the way, if I was on the women's team, this is all props <laughs> to them. <laughs> what they did was they looked at the numbers of that year, I think it was 2016 or whatever the year that was in Canada. And they compare them to the men's, men's numbers and they out earned them drastically. But the problem was the men played two friendlies. You know, it was their off year. So they said, well, we're making way more money than the men in this year. What, what's the problem? And the, what you could argue is, well, if you look at a men's World Cup and you compare it to a women's World Cup, it's really hard to, to balance those two out. But like I said, if I was on the women's team, I would do the same exact thing. Why not? Right. But I'm all for fair pay. I think equal pay is, is tough. I don't know. You know, it's at the end of the day, like I said, it's a numbers game, and I don't know enough to really comment. But, uh, you know, fair pay for now. But shout out to the women's because guess what? They they're kill it. Gonna... They're yeah. great. They're better than the men's team right now, if you look at it. Did you say they, that one more time? They're better than the men's better team right now. Better than the men's team. Hello. They, okay. And by Thank the way, you. they just, their jersey, like yesterday, came out and said yes, it was top the selling high, top selling jersey. jersey. So, listen, the support's there. There's no question. Um, you know, I think. It's the same thing with the WNBA kind of the thing. You know, it's, a, it's an attendance it. game and it's a television thing and, and all these it's numbers. It's the money and it's the it's and, it, numbers, and it's tough. Yeah. So, you know, I think, you know, a men's player might say, well, maybe it may, equal pay might be tough. But, you know. It's, fair pay is fair definitely. Pay. But, that's not, that, but that's not even, that shouldn't even be a question, really. And it's a joke that it. And it's unfortunate that it has no, to it's, be a topic. No, it's totally unfortunate. And I think they beyond earned it. And, you know, like I said, when I watch these games, I've actually been su surprised. Not in a bad way, but these women are very, very, very good. It's not like it's a. It's not like a drop off when you watch it. Like, oh, this is women's soccer. No, no. I've been like, these girls. Are, they can compete. No, they're they, bringing. They they're are bringing ba it. like ballers. I mean, they're so good. So you know, I'm all for fair pay, and I hope one day they're getting the same amount of money as men, and they're getting just as much as attention because they deserve it. So. Well, the only mm. thing that I think was brought up on a um, person's radio show that I don't quite like because he's very controversial for me but anyway but he brought up a good point though was that right now while we're in the middle of the World Cup right. yes they're huge yes right. they get a lot of attention yes a lot of money is coming in for sports and para 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 for you know just for the jerseys and right. stuff like Absolutely. that but that during those off years well that's what I was going to ask like we're the not off really season what's seeing going on as much them. or yeah. knowing about them as well. no one's really following no one's tuning right. into the you know the other different tournaments that they're in they only mm -hmm. are tuning in for for the world cup well yeah. i think that that goes with anything when we get to certain levels of things even with wnba right. it doesn't get the hype until we get into a championship year same with mlb it doesn't get into a hype until we're getting into world series but part that of that of is that it's not being exposed like they're not right. putting like even for the wnba yeah we're on different venues that you can watch it on twitter for certain games you can watch espn plus for certain games you can, you can watch, watch local MLB. stations mm -hmm. but it's not like it's on a set network every weekend like right. big three is on every weekend yeah. On CBS, it's guaranteed right. you get to watch it, right? Yeah. And that's they. But I'm curious about season. the viewership of that too, it's, because of the, I love the big three. Yeah. I do too, but I have yet to but watch, and I hate it's, to say it's this, just it's unfortunate it. that they can be in season three right. and be yeah. already and have all that exposure, right? For and, everything. and I bet you some of those players are getting as much as WNBA players. Yes. Oh yeah, it's quite yeah. possible. You know, it's quite it, possibly. It's, it's tough. I mean, but you know, and to go off the argument, you know, you look at a men's World Cup too, and I don't know the numbers, but I think you know when it was in. France last World Cup or wherever, wherever it was, um, I think the overall was like 36 billion or something. Wow, that's and crazy uh, and the money. women's was like almost two billion. So it's just which is wow. crazy. That's it's still just crazy tough. Numbers, and uh, you know, I, I I'm number. proud of the U.S. because we've we've compared it uh, all these other countries as far as women's soccer goes. We have really pushed the pushed the envelope for women's soccer, and they've carried women's soccer. The U.S. national team has carried all these other countries to start getting better. Oh, That's absolutely. what I was so impressed with, too. Because yep. England wasn't as good as they were, you know, this you know, this year. As, and people were worried about that ago. quarterfinals match with them. They were like, ooh, England, I don't know. But all these other teams are getting better. And yeah. it's all because the women's soccer, U.S. women's team was has been good with the Mia Ham days and all this yeah. stuff. And Mia Ham. They, and they, no, but they pushed the envelope. And so now yeah. all these other countries are following suit. So, you know, as much as they want to get mad at U.S. soccer, U.S. soccer has really been with them the whole time. And now, yeah, hey, now we'll get the money figured out. And I hope I hope everyone, obviously, uh, it's a utopia. So I hope everyone gets happy <laughs> one day. I'm happy. And, we would love the yeah, unicorns yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everybody, yes. That might not be reality, but <laughs> right. listen, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tricky one. You know, it's viewership and all that stuff. So, so before we wrap up, there was yeah. a couple questions 
you know, sometimes here's just your we, chat is popping. We got a pop. We got a podcast going on. People are live on video. People don't feel like calling in. They get a little. I don't know why. Phone shy. It's not like you have to sit here and <laughs> right. be on camera. Yeah. I really don't know why you right? just don't call in. <laughs> right. But mama. you know, it's okay. It's okay. We understand. So, yeah. um, shout out to Nelson who's in our chat. He had a couple questions for Tommy, but maybe we could address both of you because it's something that you guys both do. It's um, how long? How long have you been playing soccer? And what got you? St- and how old were you when you started playing? Oh man, uh, well, I probably started when I was probably seven, seven years old, um, you know, 24 years old, uh, do the math there, but um, no, I mean, but I but seriously probably really started playing like club soccer when I was around like 10. What got you uh, started in it? Well, my, actually my cousins, uh, my older cousins were, uh, you know, they played all these other sports, but you know, they really actually were, you know, soccer was their thing. My, my oldest cousin, Joe, and my cousin, Mike, um, I think they were on the 86 premier team, which is just a local club team around here. But, okay. you know, they kind of, uh, they got me started in it. And that's when, you know, Vegas was still small, especially for soccer. Um, but they did really well. My cousin uh, Joe went went on to play at uh, Oregon State, played soccer there. And my Beavers! Cousin, yeah, and my cousin Mike <laughs> played at UCLA. And uh, my cousin Mike ended up playing MLS for like six years. So, um, you know, I think I had a lot of family in it. And, uh it was one of those things, but I played a lot of sports too, and I think I was just probably best at soccer at one point. Yeah. And you gotta roll with what you're yeah. best at. Yeah, so. absolutely. No, and uh, absolutely. but yeah, no, a lot of you know family got involved, and then you know just made a lot of friends in it, and just kind of stuck with honestly. And look at you now. Yeah. Like and what got you, Llama Dude, into your love of soccer? Uh, well, for me, it was my co- one of my cousins from. He lives in Bakersfield. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, we used to, he used to go take me to the park all the time, and we would just get like people from there and scrimmage and stuff. But like. Professionally, I won't say professionally, but you know, like when I started really getting into a club, was on uh, high school. It was my senior year. I started late because I, I was trying to start earlier, but uh, you know, life gets you sometimes, and you sure does. can't do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So I started my senior year, and then I got actually I would never play in in the field pretty much because like I wasn't that good. And then I got my first goal, which was a miracle goal, pretty much. Nice. <laughs> and then after that, I just, like, started getting better and better. Well, not pretty much like they are, but, you know, <laughs> you know hey, everyone best has I can their be. Own, their own story. Yeah. And my own personal question, how do you become, like, how... This is why I did, when I played softball, I was like, who wants to be catcher? Like, who wants to just sit there and have people <laughs> swinging bats at their, by their heads and having to catch fast? What makes you want to be a goalie? You know what? I, like it's up to I you. you. The, the game's thing. on you. Um, you know what? I think I, uh, like I said, I, when I was young, I think I really started playing goalie only when I was 10, 11. Like mm-hmm. I, that's, I wasn't really playing. After that, I was just pretty much stuck in there. And I'd been playing other sports. I was good at basketball. I was good at, you know, baseball. So I, my hands were probably better than most people, and I had the height. Um, Kawhi hands. It was Sorry, Kawhi hands, hands, right? No, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm sure you have a similar experience with catcher. I mean. You, you have to grow up with it. You know, there was, there was, there's been times. Oh, I didn't play catcher. I was, I was like, oh, you didn't. Oh, I thought catcher. you said you played it. Oh, no, I was going to no. say, I mean, it's like, you have to, you know, you're going to go through things as a goalie just because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's on, you're on your own. It's a mm-hmm. lonely position. Um, you really, I really had to grow up. I mean, there's, from the time I was 13 to now, you know, you go through different times as a, as a goalkeeper, um, you know, emotionally and, you know, physically. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have to grow up with it. And, you know, because I have people asking all the time. I have that question all the time. Why would you want to do that? You're all alone back there. You know, and, you know, you're either the hero or you're the goat kind of thing. Yeah. But, you know, I think you, you get over that and you grow up with it and uh, you, you learn to love it. I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those things. I always thought, like, the the like two months I played indoor soccer and still hated it. Um, I always thought maybe they don't because they don't want to run. Because here's the deal. I don't do soccer because I hate running. I mean, I'll run now with like Man, my dog. Man, that running is tough. But oh, I, love, I love running. Y'all running is tough. I love running. Y'all I love running. I ran a half marathon for Rock and Roll Marathon. You one did? Time. I sure did. Hey. And, nice. Yeah, nice. hey, when I could do it. And uh, that was a lot. That's what I'm saying. That so I thought maybe so the, the goalies decided goal. to do that because they're like, hey, who wants to run all this? Time? I don't really love to run, so that's part yeah. of it. Yeah, I don't know, but you have a lot of energy at your goal post. Like, you're, you're active. And if you're not really physically moving you're chanting you're yelling you're motivating you like you're doing a how lot. do you like stay yeah. in yeah. the game when that's, you're just like that's, well that's, like let's say that's part of the when other team is on when you when we're on the ball so hard and what's staying on their half the, right. on their half the field like what yeah well that's part of the thing especially as a professional and you you, you learn this in college too but you know you have to be engaged the whole time because you're you're a coach looks at you to be like the general you know you see the whole field so you're making sure guys are in the right position if there's a turnover 
you know, who can cover for what, you know, what your coach would say is, you know, if you're, the more you command your team, the less work you have to do. Right. So the more you have someone in the right position or on the right guy or forcing the guy the right way, the less big saves you have to make and the less goals you probably give up. So it's, uh, it's definitely a different position than most because, you know, I am constantly yelling. I'm constantly doing that. Yeah, but that's what my coach that. expected. If I was quiet back there, you know, he, he wouldn't be too happy. Yeah, yeah, and I like how you set up play positions. Mm-hmm. Like there'll be times where um, they're able to set up a play. He's like t- directing the players to like, go here. No, stay right, right. there. Do this. Do, you know, so, oh, like on a free kick. Yeah, on a free kick yeah. thing. Yeah, like be on the side. And team. it's the strategy thing. Yeah. So you also have to keep that in mind. Yeah, well no, like if they have a free kick, like yeah. let's say, you know, 30 yards out and they're looking to shoot i have to set up a wall and then make sure guys are marked up and people kind of know practice where you're generally going to be but yeah you have to get on them because some guys arguing with the ref or some guys you know doing whatever and some Adrenaline guys picking, yeah. some yeah. guys picking yeah. flowers I've seen, you, I've, seen you been the, I've seen you be the neutralizer when they get into it with each other with the opposing teams i've yeah. seen you be the neutral guy yeah. on that so you pretty much are like dad out there to yeah, a certain degree. Right, like, right, I gotta yeah. be. You know what? And that's, yeah. if you big watch daddy, other goalies. TKO. Yeah, yes, right, TKO. Right, right. Be a big daddy. <laughs> no, and that's, a, that's after dark right there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Hey, on that note. Hey, man. It's a wrap. Hey. It's a wrap. Where's my lipstick? <laughs> Wait a minute. Time out. Hey, so y'all, if you are, thank you for watching. Yes. And thank you both for coming in. Thank we you, are Alex. excited. Thank you. Thank we you. are thank excited you. for tomorrow's game. Very we can't wait to catch Lamadou. We can't see what kind of outfit he's got on. Right. And we're excited to see Tommy. Yeah. And Lamadou, where can they get fight this you? Get this yeah. results. Oh, yes, uh, get those results. And you <laughs> called it 3-0. Yep. So that's what it's going to be. Yes. And uh, where can what, they find you? Uh, at Instagram, uh, at uh, Lamadou7, or on Twitter, at Lamadou15. Uh, Lamadou15. And TKO, Mr. Olsen, the mayor. Yes, yes. I wanted to ask you where the mayor thing came from oh, real quick, Oh, it all quick, came too. from Winalda. Yeah, really? he was like first like one of the first days i met him he was on uh, doing a little interview or whatever and they asked about me and he said goalie whatever he goes yeah the kid's gonna be mayor one day and it just stuck you've got the you've got mm-hmm. the personality you know. and then, we've, and then we've seen your interviews you're very <laughs> good with the media. Go. Yes. hey listen i like politics i could be doing it but actually las vegas weekly came out with a, a story about me i did see was, that so congratulations on that yeah. thank you thank you so yeah mayor it's kind of stuck so Hey, I love it. Yeah. We'll see. We'll you better see. change your um, Instagram, your, your Instagram handle, handle to the mayor. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right. mayor of for the, to promote the show tonight. I was like, we have the uh, mayor himself. Yeah. Well, Thomas it's funny, Wilson. too, because Oscar, Oscar Goodman, right. the former mayor, yeah. came yes. up to me uh, when we were at our photo shoot. He was there, and he goes, oh, when you guys were at the Plaza Pool. Yeah. Dang it, we didn't yeah. talk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we didn't talk you about the You guys didn't invite Lama. You came up to me and said, if you don't stop with this mayor stuff, I'm going to have you whacked, all right? Okay, all joking. He laughed. Yeah. He laughed. All jokes. But, all but it was so funny. Hey, you know, you know he's connected. Like, oh, hey, it. listen, Oscar Goodman. That's I mean, but that's what I'm saying. But that's Vegas I remember, right there. I was, I was a little one when that Tony Spilatro thing and all that Vegas history and the Tony Romas thing with Lucky. Uh, lefty, no, Lefty uh, oh. Rosenthal. Oh, and the Tony okay. Romas yep. on Sahara, mm-hmm. where his car exploded. Mm-hmm. You've seen it in Casino. That was mm-hmm. kind of based off of that whole thing. And, yep. and the mob museum. And, and yeah, everything. yeah. And so... That is just very funny. He knows a lot, that's oh, for sure. Absolutely. But they're all so, gone, so I don't know who he's got. I'm a little jealous of the pool party. I, I am wish too, media because I saw how you guys were like. Did I give you guys like, a poster? Because I have one. You do? Uh, I don't have it right here. I have my car. I can go get it. But, okay, please uh, do. But because, I have it for you guys. Absolutely. Okay, we would love that. Yes. It was wild. Calendar? Sure. Are they going to do a calendar? Do we see a calendar <laughs> in the future for you, all of you guys? I'm sure they'll be okay. Because Kevin showed his abs. Now, you're more than welcome to show <laughs> ab work if you'd like. Hey, Kevin's Kevin's got the... Hey, he's are a, you he's not confident little, to show abs hey, right now? Hey, I mean, the abs are decent. Abs are decent. Oh, abs are decent. Abs are decent. Abs are decent. Abs are decent. Come on, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? It's what after is dark. Here? After I mean, dark. This is what happened. We're Listen, I got, I got abs, too. <laughs> 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 They're Listen. hidden right now behind some uh, pizza. Hey, I'll take it, hey. though. I like the bears, Absolutely. too. I like my teddy bear. Hey, it's all good. Hey, it is. So where can they find you, the mayor of Cash? Oh, man. Tommy K. Olsen on Instagram. All and right. And Tommy K. Olsen 1 on, uh, on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. I Hit me up. Let I me know. Too. I'm so excited for the I'm game excited tomorrow. for tomorrow's game. Everybody, please come to the live game. I swear, I might just wear this. these all game. I don't know if I can do You guys are undefeated, by the way, at the games together, right? We haven't lost when you two are there. But we stayed there the whole game. We stayed there. Oh no no no! Oh no! We're, we're not. When we left the one, we left the one. Well, that's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> I, think it was a tie. I think it was a tie. Just ignore it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this stuff.
We appreciate so you guys. Thank you. We do. We really appreciate you yeah, coming appreciate on. You. Thank and you thanks guys. for everybody thanks that for watched the yes. watch party. Shout out to all the new heads that came in on the watch Definitely. party. Definitely. Uh, thank you so much for supporting Girl Chat. Continue Sports. to share, share, like, share, like Spotify, yep. yes. iHeartRadio, Google Play, Apple Podcast, Apple Podcast, YouTube. So for YouTube, Nelson, subscribe. if he wants to see that, start original, watching. Absolutely. And for Nelson, who wrote it in your chat real quick, if he wants to see the original interview, the first interview we did with Tommy Elsa, it's on YouTube. Yes, it is. It's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, and all those places, oh, and you yes. can, all your questions can be answered there, that, too. Yeah, that's probably another one of my guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you tell him. Yeah. We got it. We got the interview for that. We I definitely yeah. do. All, all right. right. We're so, out we'll, we're out of Peace. Two fingers. Girl chat sports after dark. Yes. <laughs>